Paldea Evolved has arrived. With over 150 brand new cards, the Pokemon TCG is about to be shaken up quite a bit. What's up everyone, Smart TCG here, and I'm excited to be bringing you another Paldea Evolved video. This brand new set had tons of brand new cards and strategies, and it is going to reshape how we play the Pokemon TCG. Today, I'm going to be going over the top five best new Paldea Evolved exclusive decks. If you're looking for new decks to try out, then this is the video for you. If you enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. All right, let's hop into it. Hopping into number five, we have Fortress EX. This Pokemon has an explosively powerful ability knocking itself out and in return allowing you to attach five basic grass energy to any of your Pokemon. In this deck, we have two main attackers being specifically Wo Chen EX and Trevenant EX. Wo Chen's first attack deals more damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for every prize card they have taken and has a relatively respectable second attack dealing 220 damage for four energy. Typically 220 for four energy is something that's not relatively good. However, with Fortress EX's ability, it makes it relatively easy to set up. Trevenant V's first attack absorb life deals a mediocre 30 damage, but its second attack is what is truly intriguing. Shadow Claw deals 120 damage and discards a random card from your opponent's hand. This card reminds me of Trevenant and Dustinor Tag Team and Malamar VMAX, which both saw play over their tenure in the standard and expanded format. Paired up with cards like Iono and Roxanne, you'll be able to disrupt them very quickly as Fortress gives up two prize cards when it uses its ability and gets knocked out. Here is the list that I have built for it, and I think it has a ton of potential. Some notable inclusions include Bravery Charm, which will make your basic Pokemon more bulky, allowing them to take more damage, and Super Rod, which is an old relic of the past that has been brought back to life in Paldea Vault. The rest of the list, though, is relatively standard, and I think it has a lot of potential. All right, let's hop into number four. Hopping into number four, we have a brand new fire deck in the standard format being Skeldurge. This is one of the more interesting Pokemon in the new set, and I don't think it's being talked about as much as it should be. Its attack, Vitality Song, is relatively okay, dealing 50 damage and allows you to heal 30 damage from each of your Pokemon, which combos very nicely with the main attack we'll be using, which is Burning Voice. For just two energy, Burning Voice is one of the more powerful attacks from the brand new set. Dealing 270 damage is really, really powerful but there is a drawback. This attack does 10 less damage for every damage counter on it. This means cards like Magma Basin, although we are attaching energy to our Pokemon, we are also weakening our main attack. This is where Radiant Serena comes into the fray. With its elegant heal ability, it will reset the damage that was originally put on from Magma Basin. Anti-EX also provides a nice attacker in the early game when you can't use something like the Skeldurge and will also boost consistency with its fleet footed. Some of the brand new cards included in this deck are Spark Ability for that turn one consistency, Super Rod to get those energies and Pokemon back, and Iono for hand disruption. Fire type decks have remained relatively obscure recently and it's nice to see them finally getting some support back. This deck is really fun and you can pull off some pretty cool combos. Speaking of combos, let's hop into number three. Hopping into number three, we have Meowskarada. Meowskarada has a really cool ability, Magic Bouquet, which allows you to put three damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It return for discarding a Grass Energy from your hand. This ability does stack, which means if you have multiple of them on the field, you'll be able to use multiple Magic Bouquets to soften up their Pokemon. I personally think that playing this deck with the Lost Zone engine is the best way to pilot it. Here is a list as of right now, and I think this is the best way to play it at the beginning of the format. Sableye's Lost Mind synergizes really well with Meowskarada's ability, allowing you to pile up damage counters all across the board. A new card included in this deck is also Artisan, which I think will begin to see play in decks like Lost Zone Toolbox and Gardevoir EX. If you're looking for a new way to play Lost Zone Toolbox, then this deck is for you. I think that this deck is a lot better than people think, and I know that there are a couple different ways to play it with both the Lost Zone engine and then also Metacham. Metacham is also something that I think has potential. You could even add it into this deck as well, as it does also pair relatively nicely just with the Lost Zone engine in general. Cards like Sableye into Metacham is a pretty cool combo that you can pull off. So I do think that that would be something to also consider consider. But as of right now, I think this deck is actually pretty good and I think it's definitely going to see play right out of the gate. It's a cool grass deck and I'm really happy to see grass getting more support. Next up on the list, we have Ting Lu. Personally, I think this deck is way better than people give it credit for and I think is going to be one of the stronger decks in the format. 
Its ability reads, as long as this Pokemon is in the active, its ability blocks all abilities from non-EX Pokemon that have any damage counters on it. Now you might be wondering, how do we get the damage counters on it? Well, we have Halucha's ability Flying Entry and Alakazam's Painful Spoons, which will allow you to spread damage to whatever Pokemon that you would like, turning off those important, important abilities. Coridon is also a staple in this deck, which will allow you to power up your Team Luz with its Dino Cry. It also is a relatively powerful attacker towards the middle to late game as well. I've decided on Gape Drop Bog as the stadium in this list, as this will aid in damaging your opponent's Pokemon when they enter the field. Bravery Charm is also in here to make sure that your Tinglus are even more difficult to knock out. Due to this deck needing typically one to two turns to be able to set up, you need to have a little bit extra HP to make sure that you just don't get ran over really quickly. It's definitely vulnerable to decks like Fusion U potentially if they can hit you with a turn one Meloetta, so it's nice to make yourself a little bit more bulky and difficult to knock out. That extra HP can matter, so I currently have two in the list. You could even potentially go up to three. The rest of the list here is relatively standard, and I think that this deck is definitely going to see some play for the upcoming North American International Championships. But with that being said, let's hop into the best deck, in my opinion, from the brand new set, Paldea Evolved. Alrighty, everyone, coming in at number one, it's going to be no surprise to many of you that Chen Pao is rated this highly. Currently, this is by far my favorite deck in the brand new set, and it's performing very well overseas at a very high and also consistent level, filling up top eights from tournaments. Chen Pao's ability allows you to put two water energy from your deck into your hand and paired up with Fax Caliber, you'll be able to attach as many water energy as you would like from your hand to your Pokemon in any way. Its attack, Hail Blade, is one of the most powerful ones in the game, dealing 60 damage for every water energy that you discard from your Pokemon. I have currently decided to include Palkia V-Star in this deck as it serves very useful to recover energies that have been discarded with its ability, Star Portal V-Star. It also has a relatively decent attack as well, which is able to two-shot most Pokemon currently in the standard format. I currently have a much thinner Bax Caliber line than many, but as this deck is able to rely on Irida and Rare Candy, you should be able to hit the turn to evolution relatively consistently, which means you honestly don't need the stage one in this deck being the Arctabax. There are honestly so many different ways to play this deck, and I'm excited to see where people take it. Versatility is everything in the Pokemon TCG, and this deck has it. It honestly feels more like a water box deck than anything, and I'm excited to explore all the cool things that you can do with this deck. As of right now, heading into upcoming tournaments, especially the North American International championships i expect this to be one of the best decks and it's definitely something that i would consider let me know what you think of the list though because there are so many different ways to play it so i'd love to hear your thoughts i am so excited for paldea evolved to officially be released there are tons of brand new cards and strategies that are going to change how we play pokemon with the upcoming North American International Championships on the horizon, we are going to see what new decks truly make their mark on the standard format. The North American International Championships are expected to be the largest Pokemon tournament ever in the Western world, and I'm so excited to see what decks perform well. Thank you so much for watching another video on the channel. If you enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It's the best way to help me out as a creator. Let me know also what you think of the brand new set and anything else that might worth be mentioning in the comments. I love hearing from you. Expect on this channel coming up in a few days, multiple gameplay videos going over decks like Chen Pao EX, Meow Skarada EX, Ting Lu EX, and other decks mentioned in this video. There are also some pretty cool new rogue decks that I think have potential as well that I'm stoked to be getting into. But with that being said, this is Smart TCG. Thank you so much for all the support. As always, it means the world, and I hope to speak with you again soon. Peace out.